The leaks are in, and we now understand Apple's silicon rollout for 2022. Which Macs are being updated and when? And more importantly, should you wait? Let's get into it. Mark Gurman, who is widely regarded as one of the greatest Apple leakers of all time, has provided us with some details on Apple's Mac release schedule in 2022. In his latest Power On newsletter, he states that Apple is set to have a big year for the Mac and is set to release six new or updated Macs in 2022. He provides details on Apple's silicon releases in the new Mac Mini, the 24-inch iMac, the larger iMac Pro, and the Apple silicon-based Mac Pro. He also details the release of the updated 13-inch MacBook Pro and the new MacBook Air. Now, all of these models released in 2022 will be using either the new M2 chip, last year's M1 Pro and M1 Max chips, or a super-powered version of the M1 Max. Using this information along with several other leaks over the past few months, I've decided to simplify this all into a roadmap. This roadmap shows the four SoC chips identified in the M2, the carryover M1 Pro and M1 Max, and then the new super-powered M1 Max. That super-powered M1 Max will come in two flavors. I affectionately call them the M1 Max Duo and the M1 Max Quad in honor of the types of chips Apple used in Max more than a decade ago. If we then create a timeline for this year and divide that into quarters, we can get a clear picture of what Macs are coming with what SOCs and when. The new M2 is expected to debut in March, which is to succeed the M1 that was released back in November of 2020. Apple will have an event in March where it is expected to announce three new Macs. And based on recent regulatory filings, two of them will be desktops and one will be a laptop. The laptop is expected to be a refreshed 13-inch MacBook Pro with the new M2 chip. That's right, refreshed. The package itself is expected to be identical to the existing M1-based 13-inch MacBook Pro, just updated with the new M2 chip. The 24-inch iMac is also expected to be refreshed and updated with the M2 chip, and of course, the Mac Mini is also expected to be updated with the M2 chip. The most interesting, at least for me, will be the all-new Mac Mini with the M1 Pro chip. One version that Mark did not mention is the new Mac Mini with the M1 Max chip. The only reason I can provide is that the M1 Max chips are in high demand, short supply, or some combination of the two. If you look at the Apple Store and want to order the M1 Max in the MacBook Pro, then you will have to wait up to two months before delivery. So currently, Apple can't even satisfy the M1 Max demand in the MacBook Pros. Besides, looking at the renders on the new Mac Mini design that is smaller than today's design, and based on my testing of the M1 Max in the 14-inch MacBook Pro, I would be concerned that they would have to limit the capability of that powerful chip in such a small design. I mean, where are the intake and exhaust vents? If it does arrive, it will likely be much later this year, as there are higher-end products that need that M1 Max chip. The redesigned MacBook Air with a thinner design and added colors like the M1 iMac is not yet ready, and Mark speculates it will likely release in the fall, just in time for the holidays. In the middle of the year, Apple is expected to have a second event to announce new Macs. And what event in June does Apple have a history of announcing new Macs? WWDC. Apple has a history of introducing its most powerful Macs at this event. In 2019, they unveiled the new Mac Pro. In 2017, they unveiled the new iMac Pro. And in 2013, they unveiled the Trash Can Mac Pro, all taking place at WWDC. So it just seems likely that this year we will get the new iMac Pro. And it is fully expected to use the M1 Pro and M1 Max chips like in the MacBook Pros. The new iMac Pro is expected to use the new design language of the M1 iMac, but with professional color treatment and smaller bezels and chin. The screen is expected to be 27 inches in size with mini LED technology that has 1,000 zones and 4,000 mini LEDs. For those waiting for an updated iMac, this is going to be worth the wait. These new iMac Pros should be available in June. And there is one more system that Apple will likely introduce, and that is the new Apple Silicon-based Mac Pro, or the Half Mac Pro. This new Half Mac Pro is rumored to be half the size of the existing Intel Mac Pro, and it will house either the M1 Max Dual or the M1 Max Quad chip. The M1 Max Dual will have two M1 Max chips together for 20 CPU cores and 60 GPU cores, 
and up to 128 gigabytes of RAM, while the M1 Max Quad will have four M1 Max chips linked together for 40 CPU cores, 128 GPU cores, and up to 256 gigabytes of RAM. That quad is going to be a monster. My concern is that it will also come with a monster size price tag. And while it will be introduced at WWDC, like the last two Mac Pros and last iMac Pro, it likely won't be available for purchase until the end of the year. So you will have more time to save up your money. If you like breakdowns like this, like, share, subscribe. So that's the expected rollout for Macs in 2022. If you are ready for an upgrade, this is likely the year for you. If you would like to understand more about the M1 Pro and M1 Max CPU and GPU performance, check out my series here. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.